you guys, I have just a quick word that I want to sh- uh, share with you, and it's about fasting. And we want to just kind of talk about the basics, but tonight, uh, I'm not, I, I apologize, I'm not going to talk about the basics, but the importance and the benefits that you get from fasting. I do want to mention that there is resources that I want to offer to you guys so that you guys can understand the basics of fasting, because Fasting, you're abstaining from food, and it's kind of your health, and especially if you haven't done it already, if you have never done it before, I don't want you to be like, okay, I'm going to go fast three days or seven days because the church is doing it. There is the basics and the fundamentals and the importance of understanding what you need to do and how to do it. So I, uh, here is briefly a few people that I think you will truly be blessed and have a better understanding more on the basics. Uh, the first one is ABC on fasting. Vladimir, our pastor Vlad just briefly talked about it and it was very powerful and really basic and covered a lot of things so that's one uh fasting if you just go on youtube on jensen franklin and just youtube him the, he, it, he covers a lot of topics uh, on the subject on fasting so that's one thing and then benny Hinn, he talks a lot about fasting and prayer so if you look that up on youtube those are some resources if you guys want more information on that okay but right now i want us to uh talk about the importance of fasting like why why should I fast? The first and foremost is that our relationship with God is the most important thing. And what happens is, is when you take some time to abstain from food, and instead of eating, you're praying, you're reading the word, you're listening to podcasts. Instead of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're taking that moment, that half hour, that hour that takes you to eat. You're taking that time to be with God and to listen to him and just to pour out your heart, to get closer to God. Because the thing is, is that it awakens your relationship with God. See, as we go on in our lives and we, uh, we, get, we have a lot of demands, we have a lot of things going on in our lives, a lot of distractions, we tend to get lukewarm. We tend to get distracted. We tend to lose that fire. The enemy is after your relationship with God first and foremost. And the thing is, is that we have to take time to reflect and say, Am I not doing so good about God? Is God not something that I'm excited about? I'm not excited to wake up and pray anymore. I'm not excited to go to church anymore. If there's something lacking, fasting allows you to awaken that passion again, to stir that flame, to make that fire begin to happen inside of you. When you fast, when you abstain from food and you begin to focus on your relationship with God, something happens inside of you. It is evident. We did it as a church. We did it as individuals. And something happens. Something happens inside of your spirit that you're like, God, I want more of you. You begin to hear his voice better. And you, it just rejuvenates you and refreshes you. Now, the second one that you get a really big thing is that you have to understand is that you're under a spiritual warfare. Every single one of us. A battlefield in the mind. Every single day you're battling something. Now, when you're fasting, I want to tell you is that you're going under a spiritual warfare. What I mean by this is that if you are struggling in your marriage, if you're struggling in your finances, if you are dealing with depression, if you're dealing with suicidal thoughts, if you're dealing with addictions or temptations, it is time to fast. A lot of times when we talk to people, when we counsel people, even in the church, I ask them, have you fasted? Have you prayed? Did you do whatever you could to be able to save your marriage, to save your situation. Don't give up. Fasting is a way to come before God, to humble yourself and say, God, I'm coming on my behalf, on my situation for you to come through. I need your wisdom. I need your guidance. I need your Holy Spirit fire for this situation. Fasting is not just I'm abstaining from food. You're coming under spiritual warfare to fight for your marriage, to fight for your uh, finances, to fight for your own self if you're dealing with certain things in your spirit, if there's a battle or if there's an addiction. It says that if you you fast and pray, those things will be removed. You will receive deliverance. You will receive a breakthrough. Amen. So when you fast, there is an outcome that you will be able to get overcome a certain situation. Spiritual warfare. Three is that it makes you, I guess, to humble yourself. Now we can go about our day and it's it's sometimes difficult to abide in the Holy Spirit, to abide in God. What I mean is that for us to realize, God, I need you. I need you to uh, help me with this situation, with my job, with everything that I do, is to humble yourself and it makes you realize, I need God. 
I need God to move me to the next level. I need God in my marriage, in my finances, in my relationship with my parents, my relationship with whoever, or whatever you might need in the next level of your life. We need Holy Spirit. So when you fast, it makes you conscious that I need God. Amen? I need him. So it says in Proverbs 3, 5, this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. When you acknowledge Holy Spirit, he shall direct you. So when you humble yourself and you f start to fast, you're acknowledging the Holy Spirit saying, I'm acknowledging you, my Lord, that whatever situation I'm in, help me, direct me, give me wisdom, give me direction through your word. You're able to hear his voice better because Holy Spirit is always speaking, but we're not always listening. So when, you are pr when you're fasting, you, you begin to be more sensitive. You begin to be more sensitive to conviction, to direction that he wants to give you, to humble yourself and to make your realize I need you in my life, in area, every area of my life. Uh, fourth is sharpens our focus. Now, if the devil will not allow you, if the devil hasn't gotten you to sin, he will get you distracted. Either way, if he will not let you fall in one way, he'll get you distracted with other things. If it's social media, if it's just nonsense, if it's just kind of whatever, going to the movies all the time, not much focus on your life. You're just going about your day every day as the day goes on, as it evolves. Well, we are people of focus. We are people of vision. We are people of purpose. And so what happens is, again, when you come into fasting, you kind of wake up. You kind of start to reflect because you're not eating. You're pretty much just focusing in. You're tuning in and start to reflect your life and start to say, okay, God, what can I do? What can I do about my life? So it, it helps you to sharpen your focus and what direction you need to take. And last but not least, which is health benefits. You guys know that even doctors recommend it. So it removes toxins out of your body because sometimes we put things in our body that we shouldn't. And going about our day going fast, fast, fast. But it helps you remove toxins. It increases your metabolism. It helps you in a lot of what lowers down your cholesterol. It kind of just gets your body going again. So... That's also another benefit. So I just wanted to cover those five basic benefits that will bless you. That fasting is not just because God said do it. He says it because he knows how to reach you. He knows how to reach your spirit and say, draw close to me because there's always benefit of that. Amen. And that is through fasting as well. So when we as a church, just last but not least, as a, as a church, when we are encouraging everyone to fast, do it with us. Start little. Listen to those resources that I mentioned just so you can learn more about the basics. Amen?